That was amazing. Uh, thank you. A special word of gratitude to the music department's wind ensemble. 
Uh, we have been extremely blessed this week from uh, the music department, and I just look forward to the many, many other ways that we will be church and campus together. Welcome to Augsburg Campus Ministry Chapel. Uh, we are extremely blessed by your presence, and today we are going to hear a joy-filled word from our graduating senior, Kelly Schoner. Um, you know, the psalmist said that the voice of the Lord is upon the water, and I think we're going to just see where that thread between the raindrops and Kelly's story. So I hope there's some anticipation there. So let's center ourselves. The grace of the Christ, the love of the Creator, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's sing down by the river to the first from Revelation and the second from Genesis. Then an angel showed me the river of the water of light, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. A river flows out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divides and becomes four branches. Uh oh <laughs> Wow. Thanks for coming. It's kind of crazy that this is my senior chapel. You know, when someone like Babette asks you to do a senior chapel, you say yes, first of all. And then when it comes time for you to start actually thinking about what you're going to say for your senior chapel, you look back in the four years that you spent here at Augsburg and you start to spin a little bit because <laughs> you pick out the most important moments of your college career, the scariest moments, the best people you've met, and you know, you just start spinning. So I was spinning this past week, trying to figure out what I was gonna say. And while I was spinning and spinning, all I could do was reach out and grab something. And when you grab something and you stop spinning for a second and the room comes into focus and things become clear, you know, you know what you're gonna say. And I really love the first verse that Lizzie read. Um, another translation reads, Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. And when I read that, I just hear, clear as crystal, clear as crystal. And when I think back on my time at Augsburg, not all the time did I think that things were clear as crystal. Um, <laughs> 
you know, there were many ups and downs, but upon reflection and upon spinning on my time, I have discovered that things always were clear as crystal, and I always knew what was right and what felt good. Um, when I first came to Augsburg, I was a music therapy major, and um, <laughs> things are very different now. Um, but that was the best choice for me. When I um, discovered Augsburg, I knew I was going to be a music therapy major. I knew about that program, and that was what was right for me. And when I got there, when I got here, it, it didn't end up that way. I didn't end up loving it as much as I thought I would. Um, and that was really difficult for me because for my whole life I've been involved in music and it's been what my life has revolved around for as long as I've known and so it just felt right to be a music major but when I got here it wasn't right. And so after a long time of deliberating I decided music was not going to be my path. Um, and so for the first time I looked at the major catalog which was surprising. <laughs> and um, I found what was called urban studies, which is as vague as it sounds, which is what I liked. Um, <laughs> and I just loved that because at that point in my life, I wanted to discover something new and I wanted to learn something new because music was so familiar to me. And so I enrolled in my first class, which was intro to city life. And I remember leaving the first day, the second day, and the last day, completely inspired every single day, learning something new and feeling that it was clear that that was what I was wanted to do and that was what made me excited to go to school. And so for, you know, the rest of freshman year and sophomore year, that was cool and all good and then I don't have to tell you why the end of sophomore year felt a little unclear. Um, <laughs> and things were just a little wonky and, um, and during the pandemic, I, like many others, felt uninspired by school and things were very unclear and I did not know what I wanted to do. But anyway, we go to school and we do this thing anyway. And during that time, I actually applied for the river semester here at Augsburg, which was, I was just hoping would happen. It was just going to be the one thing that I could still do. It was just going to be the saving grace, honestly. And it ended up happening, which was so good and so great. And I could spend a lot of time talking to you about how amazing that experience was and how incredibly life-giving it was to wake up every day by the water and with friends and, you know, but I don't have that kind of time, so if you want to hear about that later, let me know. But <laughs> one thing that Joe, our teacher, talked about towards the end of the semester was to, he wanted us to notice how the Mississippi River and all the rivers really meander, um, and that is to say how they twist and turn and how, you know, they are essentially a river, and that is what it means to be a river, is to meander and turn and go left and go right and go backwards and forwards. And he encouraged us to look at how our life has meandered and how we meander through life. And um, that was a really profound moment for me. I was like, you know, you're right. My life has meandered. And um, while we were on the River Semester, we also read this book called Emergent Strategy by Adrienne Marie Brown. And she, that book is just a toolkit for um, large scale social change and such. And she, in that book, she talks about how we can learn from the natural world. And for example, you know, the ants, collective action can move mountains and, and waves. Um, yeah, in waves, we ripple out like water in waves with our thoughts and ideas to hopefully change the world, things like that. And Adrienne Marie Brown does not have a, um, a lesson on rivers, but I feel like if she did, she would say something like, flow like a river in sweeping meanders. And to me, that defines my time here at Augsburg, that my time here has been a series of sweeping meanders where I've gone left and right, and I'm a music major and I'm not a music major, and I study music, but I love urban studies, and then the pandemic happens, and anyway, left and right. And um, it was clear, it's clear to me now that the only way I want to live life, and that I've learned here at Augsburg, the only way I want to live life is through meandering and through turning left and right, because that's where I've discovered what I want to do and how I want to go about graduating and being no longer a student. I just want to turn left and right and backwards and forwards, because that is the only way that you get to where you're going. That's the only way the Mississippi got from the headwaters to the Gulf of Mexico, and I can't imagine doing otherwise. So. Yeah, and while I was on the river semester, I did an independent music study where I just essentially wrote music the whole time, which was really great and fun. And um, it helped me rediscover my love for music. And just this past couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, I did this concert with the Augsburg Choir with um, the Miranda Ensemble, which is a professional ensemble in the Twin Cities. And during that concert, I just felt that same feeling of being inspired like I felt in my first urban studies class and like I felt on every day of the river and 
this idea, this feeling that that was clear to me that I wanted to do that and I wanted to go through the route of singing more and never did I think that I would feel that way at the end of my experience. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's just, it feels clear that that's what I want to do and whether that left turn, you know, lasts for a while or not is not up to me and I don't really, I'm not interested in finding out, but you know, whatever happens, happens, so. But in that, um, discovering that I like music again and doing this project on the river, I wrote a song that I'm gonna sing for you called Move Like Water, um, which is just a series of excerpts from my journal and my like lecture notes um, sewed into some kind of lyrics. So, here we go. <clears throat> Let's see, something like that, okay. Here is Move Like Water, if I can get this right. Okay, here we go. It all started out a little stream And down it went carrying you and me From cliffs to plains and playing in the rain You're strangers then I just learned your name Lightning raging, the wind is ripping But everything but this feels small Chase this feeling, I don't know what hit me But let the water carry it all Let the water carry it all And move like waves And maybe I'm a river cause I feel strange Ran aground a month ago Get unstuck, it's time to grow Lightning raging, the wind is ripping But everything but this feels small Chase this feeling, I don't know what hit me like a river in love like an ocean the rights of nature are to keep in motion if healthy is flow then we are the current around we go our strategies emergent lightning raging the wind is ripping but everything but this feels small chase this feeling i don't know what hit me Sending now, the sending song now, or is there something before that? Or, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Oh. Water. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I invited your inspiration to come stand up for the blessing. Come on, uh, come on, Joe. Yeah, we just. Yeah. I can just hear that melody, like waves. So, and I, I tend to, for, I'm a little awkward. I tend to forget that I'm Pastor Babette Chapman, one of your university pastors, and I serve alongside Pastor John. Okay, <laughs> now, now here's this blessing, God of love. We thank you for Kelly and all the ways that you have enhanced her life here at Augsburg and her experiences. We thank you 
for her gifts, for music and song and that infectious laughter. Teach her to listen for your calling within her to the world. Continue to reveal to her her gifts and talents to share with this world. Help her to discern and affirm her gifts. Call forth her passions for choral ministry and all the ways that she ebbs and flows with joy. Send her wherever you need her with the faith and courage to know that you will not forsake her. As one blessed and equipped and sent by the waters of her baptism, may she be strong like a tree planted by a river, the living water of Christ. God bless her with spiritual gifts, gifts of wisdom and understanding and joy in your spirit. Give her a song always in her heart. May your spirit bless her as she goes before you, go before you and guard her future wherever you lead her. It is in the spirit and the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Let's celebrate your She's going to lead us in a sending song, and then we're going to hear one more selection from the Wind Ensemble. And of course, leave as you must. <laughs> All right. Um, this is Peace Like a River. So if you know it, sing along, and I will be calling out the verses. So here we go. Oh 